What up, YouTube? It's your brother Trey, man. Look, I need you guys to be mature about this real quick, all right? This is for only the men, and this is for ladies, too. If you really care about your man, if you guys want to have a good sex life, this is the video right here. So one of my subscribers asked me, what was my routine for penis enhancement, right? So I'm going to try my best to go ahead and lay this out for you guys. I'm going to try to touch on as many subjects and things that I can. But uh, the main thing right now is to actually talk about, you know, what the routine was. Before I get into the routine, though, I really want to talk about the mindset and the stigma about this, you guys. Um, obviously, women clown you for your dick size. And as, as men, you know, you can't change that. All women got the same pretty much the same type of vagina. I mean, you got big ones, you got fat ones, you got loose ones, you got tight ones. Like, you know, that's really about it. How, what she does with her vagina, like hygiene and how loose and stuff is, like that, you know, that's a personal decisions, right? She can get boob implants, she can get butt shit like that. There's not much for men for your dick size. So it's like, when it comes to that, you it's like you either born with it or you're not. And if you're not, you're fucked. But I'm here to tell you guys, man, that's not true. It's not true, and you don't gotta get no surgery, get some fucking plastic inserted into your dick, and then potentially risk losing the ability to even gain an erection, you guys. You don't have to go through these types of things. But, I will tell you, as a warning, it, this, this is not gonna come fast, you guys. It's not going to come fast. This, the results for this takes years. It takes years. You'll start seeing them in a few months, though. I'm not gonna lie. You'll start to see a difference in a few months, especially if you haven't touched this. Um, you you will definitely see um, some changes. If you have preferably your sexual partner, partners, whatever, um, let one at least one person know what you're doing and like have them judge. You know, have sex with them before, have sex afterwards, and as you continuously do it, you know. Um, Get feedback from your partner. That's one of the best ways to truly... I mean, you can always measure yourself. You can always continuously do these different things to see if it's really working. And so, um, you know, that's great. But it's, it's more fun to have sex with somebody and let them, you know, tell how, how it is. So, all right, let's get into you guys. So, the routine. What I tried to do was I tried to do the... Let me show you. One more thing, actually, you guys. One more thing before we get into the routine. I'm going to tell you my journey with it. So, when I was... 13, 14, I was introduced to porn, so started to, I wasn't actually truly sexually active until I was 18. I had lots of girls come and try to have sex with me, but I was super self-conscious because, at, you know, porn, you see motherfuckers, niggas with fucking 7 inch, 8 inch, and 12 inch, 24 inch dicks, and then even a lot of people in the high school, you would, they would hear stories around, and so, the one thing I was I was a, a well a very well known football player in my school and so I didn't want the reputation of me having a small dick out there. That just would have crushed me, you guys. My brother died at the time, my mom and dad split up. I was a, I was very vulnerable at the time and the last thing I needed was someone to spread um, penis size and, and, and shame me for that. So ever since then I've always been self conscious of my, my penis size, you know? Um, even if you make a girl come and stuff like that, I've, I've, I've understood that there are other men out there who have bigger dicks who can give better, higher, quote unquote, higher um, sexual uh, performance to women. On the plus side though, let me go ahead and say this real quick, you guys. It is not always just about your dick size. It's not always about your girth. It's not even about the motion in the ocean sometimes. It really is about the connection you have. Some, uh, most of the times, right? I understand a lot of you guys are red pill stuff out here like that, but I'm, I'm willing to, AMS said this too, and this is true as fuck, you guys. It's the motions that the woman has for you that makes the sex intense, really intense. Of course, you can have the physicality to induce much more orgasms and stuff like that because you're hitting a G spot because of how big or how long you are. But it also comes to the motions and shit like that. So I started off, let me tell you where I started off, you guys. My base stats were about five inches and now I'm six and a half inches. Um, it's not bad, man. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it makes a, it makes a fucking difference, you guys. It makes a fucking difference. And so um, my goal is to re reach eight inches. So within the past like 
four or five years that I've kind of been messing around with this. I would say, yeah, about four or five, four, four or five years. I've been on and on with this. I've gained about an inch and a half, you guys. And the re I know this sounds crazy. It's like, it's not a lot, but it's because I am busy. You gotta, they want you to wear this stuff like eight hours a day, man. I, I'm not gonna do that. I can't do that, you guys. Like, I just can't do it. So I would wear this an hour, two hours a day. When I'm working, since I work from home, I can put it on for a lot longer. I try to leave it on for like at least two to three hours. Ideally, they want you to wear this eight hours a day. If you wear this eight hours a day, it's not gonna take as long as it took me to get to where I'm at, you know? And so um, I do about three, two to three hours of this. And then I'll, I'll hold on. So. I'll wear this for about two to three hours total. What I end up doing though is I'll wear this for about 30 minutes, take it off, and then I'll immediately get into hanging with these weights, right? Um, and then I'll hang the weights. I'll probably put it on two to four times a day. I'll try to cycle in between that, 30 minutes with the extender, 30 minutes with the hanger, 30 minutes with the extender. I'll try to do about four sets of that um, in total in about, you know, two, four, two to three hours a day um, with this, this and, it, and it does pretty good. So I can only imagine what eight hours a day really does to your, your penis size, you guys. So let me go ahead and show you guys something real quick. You see all of these, um, see all of these bars on here? I started off right here let me just take it off real quick when i first started my journey you guys when i first started off okay it wasn't this small it was like it was like it was like this long it was this long and now i'm this i'm doing this i'm putting i'm using all of this you guys like at first it was it was like this long, but now it's like this long. Like it 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 there's truly gains to be had if you do this. It's 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 real. You don't have to go get any fucking pills. You don't have to go get any fucking herbs like an apocalypto, rub it on your penis, your dick and balls and shit like that. You don't have to do all this tantric type of shit, man. This is just basic physics. Basic biology, you guys. Just stretch the motherfucker. Look at the African tribes. There's some African tribes that elongate their neck with fucking rings. They're elongating their fucking spine. You can elongate your fucking penis. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just the idea of it. So 30 minutes of this. And then I'll go right into this. Hanging this. Yes, yes. We hang this amount of weight from your penis. And what that does is it loosens up. It loosens up. Cause you got a lot of penis inside your body, right? You got a lot of penis up there. And so it doesn't actually show, right? There's like about an inch or two, like two inches inside of you. And so what the weight does is it, it, it stretches out your penis so that it loosens up all those tendons in there and it reveals a lot more of you, right? Um, it's supposed to stretch it out too. So um, it's really about it, you guys. I also will go into the bathroom when I'm hopping in in the shower. I'll pump, use a penis pump for about 15 minutes. Now that's extra. I should do it a lot more. I don't. But when I do use the hydro pump, it has a meter on there, and um, it it tells me how long like my erection is when I use that, and um, it's uh it's really good. It's really good, you guys. So all of these, these three things in combination, it's going to make your penis longer, it's going to make it fuller, and it's going to make you have a much stronger, harder erection, you guys. It's going to pump more blood in your penis. There are three things that these things do. Elongate your penis, it gives you girth, so you get bigger around in your circumference, and it makes it gives you a stronger erection, more blood can fit inside of your penis, making it a lot harder, and, um, that's really about it, you guys. I, don't, I, I would love to talk more about it, but uh, that's really about it. If you got any questions, if you want me to talk about anything else about this, you guys, 
um, feel free to comment down below. I'm gonna keep the comments or, uh, private because you know this is something that not a lot of people are open about. I'm open about it because there was nobody out there to really help me. There was nobody really out here to talk about this shit. All you see is a bunch of people, a lot of women shaming guys for not having the size that they that they want. Then you have a lot of doctors and shit preying on men, you know, saying like, hey, you gotta go get this surgery. Put this metal rod, put this fucking plastic rod. But there's a, there's a side effect that you can get ED. But you know what? You can get the size you want. Fuck that shit, man. We don't got, we don't got time for that, you guys. So this is what it is, man. Um, I'm not ashamed of it because you only live your life. You are the one that's living your life, man. You want to have a good sex life. You want to have, if you feel self-conscious about it, go on this journey. You're going to see some results within the first fucking month. I guarantee it to you guys. You will feel, your penis feel different because it's never been treated like this. When your penis is in a, a full extension, it's only in full extension because of your erection, right? So when you're having outside forces on your penis, like stretching it, that's going to stretch it out. Your cells are going to reproduce and it's going to grow just like a muscle kind of does, you guys. And that allows more blood to flow in it, you know? So, yeah, once again, man, this is really about it. Uh, I was just trying to be open and honest with this about you, about this type of journey. And, um, you know, let me know if you guys have any other questions about this. And uh, I'll answer them. I have no problem with that. Good luck on y'all journeys, man. I'm an open book for it. Um, but that being said, man, I hope y'all have a good one. And... You know, stay safe. Spring break out here. Drink responsibly. Uh, have safe sex. Um, Elden Ring is the shit. Um, team Yay. Um, yeah. See y'all next one.